Good day students, welcome to mathgoodservice.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over problems 34 to 39 of the CBS Mathematics Release Practice Stress Questions. All right, let's take a look at question 34. It reads, use the chart below to answer the question that follows. So we have the chart right here. Question, the chart above displays a relationship between X and Y. Given this relationship, what will be the value of Y that is missing? So this is the missing value of y here. So um, well, let's look at what's happening between x and y. Is, is this an additive or a multiplicative relationship? If it's additive, that means that we're going to be adding the same number every single time, OK? So let's test to see if it's additive. Uh, from 1 to 3, you have to add 2, OK? If this is the rule, then this uh, the next column can be determined by adding 2, okay? So what is 1.5 plus 2? 1.5 plus 2 is 3.5. Is this 3.5? No. So that automatically means that our relationship doesn't look, seem to be additive, okay? So uh, it looks like we have to multiply, carry out some kind of multiplication first. So let's see. Uh, what do you multiply 1 by to get 3? 1 times 3 is 3, okay? What is 1.5 times 3? 1.5 times 3 is 2 is 4.5. What is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. So we can clearly see that the relationship here is the output is multiplied, uh, the input is multiplied by 3 to generate the output. So the missing um, y value here will simply be the input 2.5 multiply by 3, okay? So let's multiply this um, vertically. 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 1, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7. So I'm just one digit behind to the right of the decimal. So our answer will be 7.5 option letter B. All right, let's take a look at question 35. It says the school district is proposing a 5% increase in the number of days in the school year. Currently, there are 180 days in the school year. How long will the school year be with the proposed increase? All right, so we're going to get started by writing down the formula for uh, the computation. So the formula for percent increase is as follows. So the increased amount, increased final amount, can be determined by calculating the percent increase over 100 multiplied by the original amount. That gives you the amount increase and then you add it to the original amount. Okay, so that this computation will help you determine the increased amount. Okay, so what we're looking for is how long um, will the school year be with the proposed increase? So that um, <clears throat> length of the increased uh, school year is going to be the percent increase, which is 5, divided by 100, multiplied by the original amount, which is uh, 180 days. And then you add that to 180. Okay? All right, so let's do multiplication first. We're in our order of operations. Zero cancel out the zero. Five goes into itself once. Five goes into ten twice. Two goes into itself once. Two goes into 18 nine times. So we're going to have nine plus 180 for a total of 189 days. Answer is option letter B. All right, let's take a look at 36. In this number, we're going to be ordering mixed numbers based on the magnitude. So let's just take a look at the number line here to assist us in the process. So let's say we have uh, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 2, 3, 4. I'm just breaking it into thirds, all right? Okay, so um, 
we have two and two thirds, two and a third, and three and two thirds in this uh, in each option um, oriented in different configurations. So let's go ahead and put them in the in the number line here. Okay, so we can order them currently. So two and a, and a third is right here. This is two and uh, one third. All right, so that's two and a third. Actually, in this problem, what we actually care for is two and two thirds. So that's two and a third. So the next mark right here, this will be two and two thirds. Uh, and then this right here will be three and a third. And this value right here will be three and two thirds. Okay, so when you're going in, the, in your number line, if you're going in this direction, that's increasing. So if we want to order these numbers by magnitude, the smallest will be two and two third, and that's less than three and a third, and that's less than three and two thirds. Okay, so this is arranging them in increasing or ascending order, but um, none of those options match here. So let's reverse our order and let's do, let's okay, um, order these numbers in a descending fashion, okay? Biggest first, so we have three and two thirds is greater than three and a third. Three and a third is greater than two and two thirds. Okay, so let's see. Take this out, take this out. Um, so three and two thirds, not less than. Three and two thirds is wrong. Three and two thirds is greater than three and a third is greater than three, two and two thirds. Our answer is option letter B. Okay, let's take a look at number 37. It says, use a mathematical statement below to answer the question as follows. So 2 6 is less than what? And that is less than 6 8. Which of the following values, when entered in the box, will satisfy the statement above? All right, so we're going to convert everything to decimal so that that can help us um, order the numbers by magnitude, okay? So let's start with 2 6. 2 sixths can be reduced by dividing the numerator, numerator and the denominator by the GCF, which is uh, 2. So this reduces to 1 third. And then we have 6 eighths uh, can be reduced by dividing the numerator and denominator by the GCF, which is 2. So 6 eighths reduces to 3 fourths. Okay? All right, now what is one third in decimal form? One third in decimal form is 0 0.3 repeating. Okay, if you don't know that, just um, do your long division, three divided by one. Three doesn't go into one, so you put a decimal point and toss in a zero there. Three goes into 10, three times, times three, nine. Subtract one, zero. Three goes into 10, three times, three times three, nine. One zero and the pattern just continues forever. So 0 0.3 repeating is a decimal a form of one third. Three quarters, we know a quarter is 25 cents. If you triple that, you have 0 0.75. Okay, so that's what three quarter is. All right, let's see which of these numbers fall in between these two values here. Well, a quarter is 25 cents, 0.25, one third is 0 0.3, repeating one half is half a dollar, 50 cents, three quarter is 0 0.75, nine, ten, nine tenths is 0 0.9, okay? This one you can, to do nine over 10, convert this to decimal format, just put the decimal point there, move it to the left one, Move it to the left one, and then we have 0 0.9 over 1, which is equal to 0 0.9. Okay, so which of these numbers fall in between 0.3 and 0.75? The answer is option letter C. Okay, because 5 is between 3 and 7. Okay, so 0 0.3 has less than 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 repeating. And 0 0.5 is less than 0 0.75. So that's why our answer is option letter C. All right, let's take a look at question 38. It says, which of the following mathematical expressions is equivalent to base times height over 2? So one thing you want to recall 
is that multiplication commutes, okay? It doesn't matter the order that you multiply, you get the same thing. A times B is equal to B times A. All right, so let's keep that in mind. We have base multiplied by height over 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply this um, expression by 1 over 1. Now since multiplication commutes, I can write this as 1 times base times height over 2 over 1. I can switch the order of the numerator product or the denominator product. I choose to switch the order of the numerator, okay? So I can now rewrite this as 1 half base times height over 1 is just base times height, like that. So we can clearly see that this expression is equivalent to option letter D, 1 half times base times height. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming CVEST map, I'll see this test to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and supportive to us. If you have any questions and need more support on uh, getting ready for your upcoming test, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this review series. More clips can be found on map.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.